Hello, and welcome to the January edition of the OK Now What newsletter. I'm David Zahn, and I'm going to be your guide, mentor, coach, consultant as we move through this particular presentation. What we'll be talking about today is the excuse abuse. You all probably have had occasion where you came to that fork in the road. You could either pursue a particular opportunity or perhaps you could uh, recoil back and say, no, I'm not going down that path. So let's review some of the thoughts that I hear from my clients, many of which are frankly not realistic, not appropriate for the situation that they're confronting. The first one is the, I tried that before and it did not work. Well, that may be true then, but perhaps it could work now or with some slight modification, it could be successful. I'll also hear, I've never tried that. Will it work? Well, surely one way to find out is to try it. Or asking, who else has done it? As if that's a requirement that it be done before in order for you to try it. Well, then, frankly, you're just playing catch up if someone else has tried a particular idea. Or that's way too simplistic. Simple sells. Don't overly complicate things. I don't know how. Well, let's find out. Let's make it happen for you. Let me think about it. And of course, that often means it never gets revisited. Number eight of the 15 I have for you. I never thought of it. Well, now perhaps that it's been presented to you, maybe now you will think about it. Uh, not perfect, but it's okay. Why should I change? Well, you should always be in pursuit of doing bigger, better, larger as appropriate. Just because something is kind of the devil you know doesn't mean it's worth holding on to. Won't that take too much time? It may take time, but if it helps move you forward, isn't it worth it? That sounds real risky. Okay, fabulous. What can we do to mitigate the risk? What can we do to reduce your exposure so that the idea does have a chance to flourish? That seems impossible. Most things are impossible until they become possible and done. It was said that man could not run a mile in four minutes until Roger Bannister did it. And then very shortly thereafter, it became the standard. Many people in those higher end races were able to run a mile in under the four minute time frame. It can't be done just like sending a moon can't be done, just like a bee can't fly. There are, are a lot of things you may believe are beyond capabilities, but in fact, they are well within reach with the appropriate preparation, the appropriate activities, the appropriate foundation pieces. My gosh, that is way too ambitious. Well, says who? Just because something is ambitious doesn't mean it shouldn't be done. And the last one of the 15, I'm not sure my spouse, my partner, my neighbors, my someone else would approve of that. Only you have to approve. Only your customers, if you're starting a business, need to approve. Only your family and friends need to approve if you're looking to imp improve the relationships you have with them, and on and on. I have a lot more we, we can discuss about this. So if you'd like, let's connect. Talk to me. Contact me at my website, oknowwhat.biz, and let's get to it. Let's remove the abuse of all these excuses.